Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Solization 6. So, we are done with the Inca, and uh, I'm actually strongly considering moving my entire army west from here, attacking the Mongols, and then uh, moving further west to attack Babylon, because I'm pretty sure it's actually going to be easier and faster to reach Babylon by going west from here than by going east. Yeah. And I can attack Mongols on the way. So I'll probably just do that. And it makes sense to continue wars, because I'm getting quite a lot of faith per turn, and I can faith by military units. Because I built the Grandmaster's Chapel. So it probably makes sense to continue that. In other news, we are building some wonders still and we're getting Hercules in 16 turns. He's going to be amazing on this map as Mali, so hopefully I'll be able to get him. He would be a big help. So let's move everything in this general direction. I don't think I can go straight west, but I can probably embark right here on this lake or inland sea or whatever this is. We can do that. This will definitely take a little bit of time, but I suppose that's okay. I can also move towards my city right here. Uh, I might actually rename that to a slightly more relevant name. The Niter City. <laughs> because that's literally what it is. So yeah, I could move my army here and then upgrade here inside my borders, because we are working on some military attacks. We will also get nationalism, so I would like to make use of that. Alright, we'll build walls here, just to have that done, just in case Pachakuti gets any silly ideas. Hopefully not. I don't think he's really capable of doing that anymore. Oh yeah, and hold on. Uh, looks like I could probably capture that spearman. And the builder. So let's not use city bombardment here. I should be able to capture him, and then we can just pay for an upgrade. I have the money, that's for sure. We should be getting to 500 gold per turn pretty soon. Where do we explore from here? There are still some city-states I would like to find. Let's maybe go, like, northwest? Something like that. Let's go this way and then west through here. Maybe we'll find some city-states. There are still a few city-states we haven't found. And also through here, just need to avoid barbarians. Oh, do I have to use city bombardment? Because I don't really want to. Okay, I think I have to use it. Okay, fine, I guess we'll just kill that guy. And then we can grab the builder. There might be a barbarian camp Man somewhere down here. Animal. So, here's gunpowder. That's going to be useful. Let's heal these guys up. Yeah, heal anyone without full health. I would also like to get the bombards. So, metal casting is next. It's already boosted. And then probably ballistics. Can I get a great... Uh, I mean... A military engineer? A sort of, but it will take a while. I could just buy one. 680 gold. Let's just do it, whatever. It doesn't matter. I can use him to get the boost. And then we can get the ballistics directly after metal casting. Doesn't matter where the forts are. I just need two of them for the boost and that's it. So, we got an entertainment complex. Let's grab an arena right away. I could probably buy one. But even though I'm making a lot of gold, I don't think I can afford to buy literally everything. Now, where do we want an industrial zone here? This looks like it would be a good tile. Uh, right here, in the middle. That would be a plus three. 
I could technically get a plus four, but I would have to build it on the volcanic terrain. I'm not willing to do that. Let's just build it here. This is good enough in my book. Uh, we should also get some Sogobas around here. Probably just build it on the flat terrain. It doesn't really matter if I get a plus one. Uh, however, for this city specifically, I want to get that campus. Because I don't need more science. Let's just get that campus. Here. It should be a little bit faster than that. So that's two plus four campuses under construction. That will be a decent science boost. Right, let's keep moving. I can upgrade my units uh, in the Niter city later. So this is fine. We don't have to stay here. Missionary? Okay. Uh, I still need to spread my religion to a few of my cities. Yeah, these guys right here. I need an Inquisitor for that. How much will that cost me? Uh, that's not very expensive, 120. Let's just grab an Inquisitor right away. I'll probably need one. Uh, first we'll gain sources and then we can try to steal a tech boost. We'll see about that. Babylon doesn't like me too much. So this is a perfect plan. We can just keep moving west. And once we're done with that, we can reassess the situation. It will definitely take a while. So we'll decide what to do when we're done with that. Uh, right, I can maybe go west from here. Let's just check it out. Again, moving my entire army will definitely take a while. Maybe I could get a road. Maybe, yeah, it's possible. Can we get another trader? Yes, we can. I might have to reveal some more terrain. But maybe I can get a road through here. That would speed up my troop movements. And that would definitely be helpful. Alright, so I need two forts. Again, it literally doesn't matter where they are going to be. Let's build them on the flat desert. We're about to get a metal casting. Uh, give me that builder, thank you very much. Uh, keep moving this way, we are looking for city-states. How's our fate? 400. How about more builders? How about another settler? 490 fate for a settler. Magnus is currently in Kangaba. So I could get a settler in Kangaba. I could also just send a settler west. I don't know what's out here, but having another city further west might actually be a pretty good idea. This general area is also pretty nice. This would actually be a pretty good city too. So that's a possibility. I think what I'll do is send a settler with my army. And then we'll see what we can find. Another mine, here you go. Another city-state I really want to find is Nazca. It should be in this game. Somewhere out of there. Hopefully we can find it. Anyway, here's metal casting, so next up ballistics. That will be boosted soon. That will be one fort. And the other one really doesn't matter. It can be on an adjacent tile. Instantly builds a bank and a market in this district. Oh, okay, this is nice. And the bank will get two great work slots which can hold anything. Hey, I definitely want that. Where do we have a fresh new Sogoba without a market? I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere. I can obviously use it for a bank, but I think we have one somewhere. Let's go through all our cities. Maybe we don't. Okay, so far there is a market everywhere. Uh, right here, Gao. Oh, really? Okay, that's not too bad. And Gao still has very low production. Okay, we'll use him in Gao, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Alright, let's see. We can still get more traders. 
Okay, I'll need to reveal at least a few more tiles here. But we should be able to have a trade route. Uh, let's just wait at least one turn with that guy. Embark here. Hey, do we have professional army? Yes, we do. So I can upgrade the units right away. There's no need to wait. We can afford it. I will need Niter, but that's not exactly a problem, is it? <laughs> no, not really, it's not. It's not going to be a problem, like, ever. Literally, ever. We're secured for life with Niter. Alright, walls are done. I cannot just keep building walls, because that will give me some extra housing through Monarchy. We could also still get another hero here. That's not a terrible idea. That is actually not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. What the heck? Let's do that. By the time he's done in 20 turns, I'll probably be ready to declare war. We can also use Hercules to attack once we use his charges. He can do some pretty good damage. All right, Inquisitor. I'll probably need more than one. So we might as well just grab another one. I don't see why not. It's not like I can't afford it. Okay, that's a stronger unit right there. It looks like I'll have to heal myself up a little bit. Maybe back up and get them to come closer. Get them to move into my city attack range. That would make it much, much easier. All right, keep moving northwest. We got one more build on this fella. So this will be plus two culture. I kind of still want gold in production, at least on hills. I cannot get nationalism boosted, so we'll just finish researching it the regular way. Let's pop the merchant. So that will give me a bank and a market here, or rather a gilded vault. So that's nice, that's even more gold. And we're about to finish a holy site, that will be a pretty good one. And that will give us more production in here, through scripture and work ethic. A lot of production. Like plus 12? I think it was a plus 6 holy site. Uh, so about that road. Yes, looks like we can get it. Right here, okay, that will be pretty useful. The yields will be kind of crappy, but I mostly want this for the road. Let's go. All right, that's walls. I think I'll just buy that amphitheater. Yep. Let's buy it. And I might just run campus research grants. Because that doesn't get a production penalty. Yeah, let's just do that. And I don't need more science, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, we can go west through here, that's good. Can I get open borders from him? It's fairly unlikely, but okay, I can. Let's just do that, that will make it a bit more convenient. 15 gold per turn. Okay, 16 gold per turn to buy open borders. That's a pretty good deal in my book. All right, let's sell some cheese. Amber. Okay, that's a decent enough deal. I can go for that. I have a lot of furs. I'll just sell some of them. Even if the deal is bad. Here, 9 gold per turn is good. Okay, that's good. We're getting close to 500 gold per turn. And I'm not even trying that hard, to be honest. Okay, so let's just get that other fort anywhere. To get the ballistics boosted. Uh, maybe I can move to a flat tile. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'll replace this later anyway. I only need it temporarily for the boost. That's it. I don't need it to stay there. Alright, let's convert really quick. There we go. One charge was enough. That's nice. We especially want to convert cities with holy sites. Because otherwise I do not get the benefit of work ethic. I'm not totally convinced this siege tower would be tremendously useful, but I might as well bring it with me, because it doesn't work against Renaissance walls. 
but the Mongols probably do not have Renaissance walls yet. Babylon likely does. Uh, right, I'm obviously voting against that emergency. Uh, but I don't think I have to use a lot of diplomatic favor. Even if it goes through, I actually don't care. Yeah, hold on, I actually don't care. Let's use two votes. I don't want to spend too much diplomatic favor. Yeah, okay, it failed. Good. I didn't waste my diplomatic favor. Okay, we can disembark right here. That's good. That's perfect. Just need to get there quickly. Doesn't matter for where. Off you go, then. Yes, all of you. And I should probably save up some fate to fade by units for cords and armies. Because I'll need those. Okay, get that fort. That will give us ballistics boost. 710 faith. Alright, I don't need a few more gilded vaults. So let's maybe get those right here. They're not cheap, but it's worth it. And the trader out. Uh, some city-states are in range, whole one of them. What other city-states are in range? Well... They are all mine. Okay, Kagwana is the only city-state that's not mine. And it's definitely out of range for my trade routes. So let's just go for the best trade route with a city-state. Let's just check available trade routes. Yeah, look at this. Machu to Laventa, the Nighter City to Laventa, that looks pretty good to me. I guess we can go to Laventa. So let's go from Machu. That's fine. Alright, keep going. You guys got work to do. Alright, move to Machu. Off you go. And we still don't need a few more trade routes. I can just buy those. Where's Macho again? Uh, right here. Yeah, let's just buy one trader with gold. And one with faith. That's reasonable. Hey, stop following me. I just want to explore, alright? Okay, now I can probably capture some unit here. We still got 13 more turns, but these guys are pretty tough. I might even need a little bit of help down there. As crazy as that sounds. Because I barely did any damage. Yeah, see? He actually did decent damage to me. Can I kill him? Uh, this should kill him? It might not. It's not 100% guaranteed. Okay, yes, yeah, see? Uh, he has, like, I don't know, one health left. Like I said, it was not 100% guaranteed. Right, I'm waiting for Faith to get to the Gilded Vault. Let's just build Renaissance walls. I have Monarchy, there's no real reason not to do that. I will buy the Shrine here. And let's also buy the Granary. And the, frankly, the Temple as well. And then I can fade by the Gurdwara. Yeah, so now we are getting plus 12 production just from the holy site in this city. I more than doubled this city's production with that holy site. <laughs> so uh, I would say that's pretty nice. And now I might lose my hero here, unfortunately. I hope not, but it's a possibility. It was a little bit unlucky. That guy survived with one health. It's the one HP curse. It's a thing. Alright, let's keep moving, people. There you go. So, about that settler. Gold or faith? I think 700 gold is reasonable. What the heck, let's just buy him for 700 gold. That's fine. He'll need some time to get to a relevant location. Yeah, go west. Convert Macho. Now we want to go to all these city-states here. We can go to all three of them. That's fine. This is all good. 
Laventa, yep, that's good. Here you go. And one more. Mohenjo Daro, that's also good. And we are at 500 gold per turn now. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Convert. Uh, let's embark here. That should be a little bit faster, actually. Nationalism is almost done. Oh, is someone actually buying niter? We'll check on our turn. Because I'm getting 20 niter per turn and I can still get more. Come on, give me nationalism. Vietnam declared war on Nubia. Okay, that's good. Keep them busy with each other. What's taking that long? Any day now. I like how a lot of these city-states have really, really bad population. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Why is this taking so long? And that's a little bit strange. The Vietnamese Empire has declared war against the Nubian Empire, one of your friends or allies. You now have 75 new grievances against them. Yeah, except Vietnam is also my ally. And so there star was lost. Yeah, we'll get it back. Why is this taking so long? That's a bit strange. That's way too long. Okay, I really have to alt F4 out of this, because, like, it's frozen entirely right now. See you in a moment. Smell of smell. All right, well, I'm loading the turn 160 autosave. Hopefully it will be fine. Okay, here we are. I wonder if I would get the exact same outcome. Probably. In theory, it should be exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm not actually sure if I want to attack that guy anymore, you know? Is that cheating? Because <laughs> I don't want to lose my hero. And the combat preview did suggest he will die. But again, it's not guaranteed because there's a little bit of RNG involved. It's not always exactly the same amount of damage the combat preview suggests. All right, let's buy that granary really quick. Build walls. Wait to fade by the Gurdwara. And I guess I have to move everything again. Hopefully we won't run into the same exact problem again on the same exact turn, because that would be really bad. Let's go, people. Yeah, I'm not even sure what exactly I did. Trades. Oh, can we sell Niter? Yes, we can sell some of it. And did that even work? I still have 70. It's a little bit weird sometimes. All right, convert Macho right here. And send the trade routes to the city-states. Off you go. Granada and La Venta. There you go. Convert Kangaba. I think I can buy another trade route. Uh, no, we are at 13 out of 13. Embark that guy. Okay, so hopefully that won't happen again. Yeah, see, now it's basically almost instant. That was a little bit weird. Oh, great, uh, he survived with 1 HP again. See, I didn't want to kill him with city bombardment. I suppose this is fair, but there's still a good chance I lost the hero. I might not. We'll find out. Mercantilism next. We got another governor title. Oh yeah, right, now I need reinforced materials for Liang for our volcano city. So now the city is safe, unless I move Liang out of here, which I have no plans to. Get the Granada back. All right, you guys keep moving. Uh, how much longer will we be denounced? Uh, 25 turns. That's a lot of time. Yeah, by the time that expires, I should be in position to attack the Mongols. At least that's the idea. 
How many cities does he actually have? Okay, he has what? Six cities? Because uh, the capital will not be listed there. Let's see if we can find some of them. Maybe we'll have a more convenient target than this. That's not a very good city, anyway. Convert. Okay, that's enough. Good. That is also enough. Very nice. Can we fade by anything good? Oh yeah, and I should have bought the settler here. So let's gold by the settler. 700 is not that bad. Still looking for city-states. Any day now. Yeah, see, I really do not want to attack that guy right now, because that will kill him. And I really wanted to capture him. Here, a shift enter will end the turn. So I do not actually have to do it. I survived. It's one thing to surmise what happened. So I assume now I will capture him. Yes. And now he can attack the crossbowmen. And almost kill one of them. So now, even if I lose the hero, I'm probably okay with that. We got quite a few units out of him, and he only has 10 turns left. Anyway, next up, I think rifling. Yeah, that leads to refining, and we definitely want refining. Maybe even before industrialization, it would be a little bit weird to reveal oil before coal. But, I mean, why not? It kind of makes sense as Mali, too. Uh, to a certain degree. Yeah, I mean, what the heck, let's just go for refining. And then I could go for steel to unlock artillery. Maybe I'll do exactly that. I think it kind of makes sense. The downside is that I will not be able to boost either of them, because I have no idea what a coal mine, uh, what a coal power plant is. Or a coal mine. But I think it's still worth it. We'll do that. But first, rifling. Uh, Alright, let's keep the Inquisitors here. Well, this one. He has two charges left. We can keep him in Kangaba because it's getting some religious pressure. Uh, or we can convert Walata. That also makes sense. Alright, and I need to save up some faith here. Uh, to get some units to create armies. Uh, let's see if we can cut off that skirmisher. I don't want him spawning a barbarian raid. That's for sure. We're getting there, slowly. I might use Auto Explore soon, but I don't entirely trust it. I'm still trying to find city-states. They have to be out there somewhere, and yes, I can see that the ranger. Well... Yeah, I need to send some kind of unit down here. I might just have to fight by something. 525? Okay, what the heck, let's just grab that guy, his cavalry, so at least he will be able to move around quickly uh, to get closer to the Mongols or Babylon once he's done with the barbarians. Okay, yeah, we lost the hero. Oh well, that's fine, he did his job. I'm actually okay with this outcome. Now, I assume there's a barbarian camp down here. Probably a good idea to get rid of it. We are about to finish the Forbidden City, that will be a nice wonder. And we are getting Hercules soon. I need to think about what exactly to use him for. Because his charges are limited, and a lot of my cities would like to use him. Okay, 7 out of 11 housing. Let's grab the next district. So I could get a campus, a plus two campus down here. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, let's get a campus down here. Uh, actually, I had one plant to the north, didn't I? Uh, that's also a plus two. So it's the same thing, basically. Doesn't make a big difference. Uh, kill the skirmisher, done. And now we go to the Niter City. 
to get our units upgraded. Uh, some of them, anyway. And let's see if there's a city, like, in this area. If there's a city right here, this is what I'm going to attack. That would be the most convenient target. Okay, trade route. We can go to Laventa, we can go to Cahokia. I should actually send at least one trade route to one of my allies. So let's go here. I mean, we have 13 trade routes, so we can afford some trade routes to our allies. Embark. Mercantilism is almost done. So 63% chance to seal a tech boss. Or we could try to get our spy promoted first. Let's try to get him promoted first, because if we get lucky, maybe we can promote him in a market economy, uh, however, to get a bonus to steal a tech boss. Possibility of escape. Do we want to change any policies? Uh, logistics would be temporarily useful. So that's an option. I'm still using this production bonus, though. So, I guess I'll pass on that. Because it's useful, but I don't think it's useful enough to justify using an entire policy slot, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I'll still be using land surveyors. I'm definitely not giving up scripture. I'm not giving up serfdom. Yeah, I'm keeping all of this. The one thing I could maybe use is liberalism. So... I suppose I could probably give up the influence points to get liberalism at this point. I probably don't need them all that much. I should really build the diplomatic quarter at some point, <laughs> like soon. But yes, let's get the liberalism because I think I need the amenities from it at this point. This looks good. I'm keeping monarchy. Okay, next up. Probably civil engineering, but let's take a look. Yeah, civil engineering and then urbanization. Yep, sounds good to me. Uh, so, line infantry, that's going to be a very nice upgrade right there. This guy, 115. Yeah, I can upgrade like almost everything. Uh, definitely trebuchets to bombards. What does Siege Tower upgrade to again? Oh yeah, to Medic. And to get a Medic, I would need Sanitation. I don't think I'm quite close to getting that. Alright, let's go chase some Barbarians here. I could still get quite a lot of cities if I really want to. So first this guy. Where do I want to send this guy? Probably this general area. At least that's what I'm thinking. I think it will depend on what's in this area here. Where the other cities are. And yes, I can see... It's going to rebel in six turns. Interesting, interesting. Maybe I can take advantage of that. So, let's take care of these guys real quick. Yeah, attack like this. Yeah, okay, these guys are fairly tough. Let's get line infantry. I think I'm going to lose my pike and shot. I underestimated how strong this guy is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he will kill my pike and shot here. Yeah, he will. Okay, that was my fault right there. Yeah, okay, these guys are pretty damn strong. What the heck? I might need extra help here. <laughs> Barbarians are kicking my ass. Not for long, it's fine. Okay, more trade routes. Let's just check what the best trade routes are. Available trade routes. Oh, this is pretty good. 12 gold, 1 production, 3 science. I kind of like that. Oh yeah, that's from the capital, that makes sense. A lighthouse, finish that in one turn. Alright, and more unit upgrades, and let's reveal some of this terrain here. Okay, no city. 
So I could go further west to get my own city. Uh, I see a lot of cotton. Yeah, okay, I know what we're going to do. We're going to send our settler here and settle close to that cotton. Because that will help my city grow a lot. And food is hard to come by on this kind of map. So this is a perfect location, actually. That's where we're going. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm as is tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.